Jess and welcome back to my channel. So the book reviews are back. Today we are doing the first book review since I restarted my channel. If you guys don't really know what I'm talking about, then go watch my The Truth video and it will explain everything that I'm talking about in this moment. So today's book is All the Bright Places which is a book that I do not have at hand right now because right now my best friend Trixie is borrowing it um, and so I'm just going to be talking about it but at the end I will put a picture of the book so that you know exactly which one I'm talking about. So All the Bright Places is a book about these um, these two high schoolers who meet and fall in love like any romance novel but um i remember this one place at the back on the back where it talks about the book it said while violet's world is growing finch's world is falling finch is the boy and violet is the girl and they met um on a rooftop um and the book is very sad and if you don't do well with sad topics or like um things that have to do with suicide you will not like this book because they do talk about suicide in this book and um there's like a topic like that some people or children don't know about so my age rating for this book is 14 plus maybe 15 it depends how mature you are and it depends what your parents let you read or what you normally read so this book has a lot to it and sometimes it can be overwhelming but if you are a strong reader then i think the youngest that you should read it is maybe 13 but for a lot of kids or teenagers, young teens, anything, um, topics like suicide might be a little bit um, hard to listen to or hard to talk about because they've had it in their lives or they know someone who has committed suicide. And if you don't even know what suicide is, then you shouldn't be reading the book because your parents haven't told you for a reason. <laughs> okay, so All the Bright Places, age rating, youngest 14 best ages 14 through 15 to start reading the book um and it will make you cry it made me cry and it is very sad and um it like i said it can hurt some people but i think it's an amazing book and i give it a five star rating i thought it was amazing um the author is jennifer neven neven i think that's how you pronounce her name yes but she is an amazing author she also wrote um holding up the universe which i just listened to on audible um audible you know if you're watching this sponsor me <laughs> i know they won't but you know it doesn't hurt to try so i love audible um because I listen to Audible in the shower while I'm doing random things, cleaning my room and stuff when I can't read. Um, but I love pages too because I love being able to flip the pages. And I, it used to be very hard for me to read Audible, listen to Audible because it used to be hard for me to contain the information. But Audible is a very good way to... Um, How do you say it to listen to a book and still have it count because I have my list of my summer books and my audible books still count because it's still a book so if you're listening to summer books you can listen to all the bright places and holding up the universe both on audible and you audible has to do with credits from amazon and if you don't need you don't need to do that because you can use apple books 
um, and I'm pretty sure Apple Books also has that, but on Apple Books you need to pay for your things. Unlike on Amazon, on like on Audible, your Amazon account is connected. So once you buy a certain amount of objects, it like gives you credits, and at the end of the month it gives you a credit, and you use those credits to get your books. So all the right places and Holding Up the Universe are both on all the on <laughs> Audible, and I'm pretty sure on Apple Books. So comment down below if you guys would like me to do a review on Holding Up the Universe because that one was great. But yeah, All the Bright Places is an amazing book that will teach you a lot in life and how to handle certain things and how to handle certain people and how not to handle certain people and certain things. So I loved the book and I hope that you guys do too. Um, I love doing these book reviews and I miss them a lot so I'm glad that I got to do another one but I also want to show you guys the next book that I'm reading. Right now I'm listening to um, What I Was, no, I'll put the name right there and the author um, because I don't remember the name or the author because I just started listening to it um, but it's on Apple Books and I bought the Audible version for $12. So it's also on Audible, but I didn't have any credits left. So I had to do that. Um, and yeah, but f as for page reading, um, I'm reading this book because I just finished the Hungry Game series, um, which I sh am also going to do a book review on. It is called And Then There Were None. I wanted the bigger version, but I got the small version, which I can live with, I guess. And I'm going to start this book called The Gracier. Um, and once I finish it, I might do a book review on this too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much, and I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life, an amazing month, an amazing everything. Stay positive, remember you're beautiful, amazing, and you can do anything. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So I just wanted to show you guys something. So in the book, Finch does this really cool thing where he has his walls full of post-it notes um, with different words or different phrases or things that have remind him of memories, just whatever he wants. So I made my own and you don't need to read it, but like it would be an amazing idea if you guys would want to make your own too after you read the book because I love doing it and I think it's a really fun thing to do and it's a good thing to preserve memories and whatever you want to remember or funny moments or even sad moments, whatever you want. And I love doing it and I think you guys should too. Okay, bye.